We are going to take a single image as input and reconstruct a 3D model with a detailed and realistic appearance. This is a challenging problem because we need to estimate the shape of a closed human and synthesize plausible appearance that will not directly observe from the input view. How do prior methods work? Python infers 3D surface and texture using pixel-align implicit functions trained with 3D datasets. However, the results are usually blurry due to the limited quantity and diversity of available 3D training data. How about using priors learned from 2D image datasets? Texture leverages a pretrain 2D depth-to-image diffusion model for texturing 3D shapes. However, the results show clear inconsistencies. How about using optimization to resolve such inconsistency? Magic 1 to 3 optimized the 3D shape and appearance with score distillation sampling using both 2D and 3D priors. However, the generated shape and appearance are unnatural as the method is not tailored for human images. How about using human specific priors? Tech initialized the 3D shape from Simple X and optimized the shape and appearance with SDS updates from a fine tuned diffusion model. However, using 2D priors only suffers from multi phase artifacts and erroneous 3D shapes. Our approach synthesizes consistent and detailed texture of full human body. How does it work? Given an input image, we first predict its shape using PyFu HD and synthesize the back view appearance using post width style. The front and the back views form the initial support set. Next, we render a novel view by blending the images in the support set guided by the 3D shape. One can use a diffusion model to impend the image, but it's difficult to maintain the shape. Our idea is to leverage the 3D shape to render the surface normal and contour, and use them to guide the synthesis. We add a synthesis view to our support set and proceed to another viewpoint. We repeat this process until we generate images of multiple viewpoints covering 360 degrees. While we have multi-view images of the person, these images are not fully 3D consistent. Therefore, we optimize the UV texture map via differentiable rendering. This gives us a consistent 3D texture model. Here are some additional results. Compared to tech, our results show fewer artifacts. Of course, there are still several limitations. For example, our reconstruction does not handle view-dependent appearances. So the lighting is baked into the texture. Second, our method cannot refine the 3D shape from existing reconstruction methods. I look forward to the future development of high-fidelity 3D human digitization. If you want to learn more about AI 3D generation and our other research efforts, please check out these videos. Thank you for your attention.